welcome. I'm Clarissa Montgomery, and we are streaming live. Take a deep, healing breath, and imagine that you're not even on Twitter or Facebook or Xanax. Yes, officer, I know what I did, and I know why that man pressed charges. I knew her. Not well, but we would nod at each other, and she always made a point of remembering my name and smiling and saying, hi, Kelly. And I'd say, hi, Ivanka. The smile, it was like she was saying, I'm here, but I'm not. He's wearing jeans and a windbreaker. And the hat, the red hat. You know the one, the MAGA hat in New York City. Two blocks from the public theater and Cooper Union where Lincoln spoke and Larry Kramer. It's like me going to Nebraska, wearing a yarmulke, waving a rainbow flag while reading a book. I told her, I've never met anyone like you. And she says, what, you mean a strong, independent woman? And I said, no, with so much Kleenex in your purse. And she started coughing and I guess I looked worried. She just said, well, let's hope it's cancer. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Morton. It's Mark Hesterman. Thank you so much for seeing me. I have mainly played gay roles, and I think queer representation is so important. Yes, sometimes I say gay, and sometimes I say queer, and sometimes I just show people a picture of myself on Halloween in high school dressed as Julianne Moore in the hours. Then my Uncle Dirk says, Trump is a real straight shooter, tells it like it is, and I'm drowning. I try to say something, but only random words come out. It's like I'm in The Exorcist. Charlottesville, Obamagate, golf! <laughs> she really thinks she can social distance herself from history. Because <laughs> it gets so much worse, or better, depending on your sense of humor. <laughs> entire world just feels so absurd. Nothing is fine. But we can learn something. This is what hope looks like. Sometimes I shake my copy of the New York Times and scream at it. How could you let this happen? 